Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to another Space Engineers Workshop review. Today we're taking a look at the Star Citizen P-52 Merlin Fighter. This is obviously from the video game Star Citizen. If you haven't heard of Star Citizen, I recommend you checking it out if you're a fan of sci-fi. It is an amazing game and more details. I'll give a link to Star Citizen down below in the description actually, then you can go check it out for yourself and learn about it. Anyway, this is a Merlin Fighter from Star Citizen. It is built by Perfect Blinky. Now, original people on the channel, they will remember Perfect Blinky. I reviewed a lot of his Star Wars creations back in the early days of the channel when we was in 1,000, 2,000 subscribers. And I know uh, Perfect Blinky very well. I haven't spoken to him recently though, but I know his builds are always good. And the God of Vanilla, as some of the Steam Workshop people call him. So yes, this is it. Vanilla, no mods required. The P250 Merlin from Kruger Industries. First seen in the Star Citizen universe, now back again in Space Engineers updated for planets and skimmed all its mods. So he's basically taking his modded versions and you can use it in survival and vanilla. Brilliant. And he has loads of other sci science fiction like Star Wars, Star Citizen, Remix and Replicas. Simply click on his workshop for a lot more. Perfect Blinky, God of Vanilla is all I'll say. Anyway, let's take a look at this fighter. So it is from Star Citizen. If I remember in editing, I'll put a picture up in the top right corner now of the Merlin so you can get a bit of a feel for it. Now what really sticks out for this fighter is the shape. Even though it's got this barrel sort of going down the nose, he still managed to keep these like gaps, the aero gaps. Uh, that's what I've kind of nicknamed them. Here to build the shape and the feel of the ship. I love it when designers do this. Also, you've got a screen up here, Merlin P52 cards and Pope Blinky. So you could replace that with um, like LCD screens for yourself. Be pretty good. Hello me, how are we doing? But yeah, this is built for planets and um, yeah, planets. Let's say planets and space. I was gonna say planets and planets. A bit, a bit weird. Planets and space. Got atmospheric engines there to boost you along as well. Always good. Love an atmospheric engine. What else we got? Is that it? Okay, so down the front here, if we start from front and work our way back, we've got a hydrogen thruster for stopping. So it looks like we have three hydrogen thrusters for stopping. Four, no, it's four, Jack. You can count. We have three Gatling guns. Those are like our main guns. I don't know why they're turned to the side there. That's a bit weird. Because uh, I notice it's got that ridge on the side there. A bit weird. Anyway, three Gatling guns, such as your main arsenal. There's no rockets, it's just Gatling, so it's like a simple fighter in a way. Pretty cool, eh? What else have we got around here? We've got react. Is this reactors? No, these are conveyors, aren't they? Those conveyors, car containers, there's a reactor there. Oh, here's three reactors. Car containers going back here. I love the use of car containers on small ships. It builds up like a... Not... Because conveyors look okay, but they kind of look a bit too fragile, whereas car containers look better and add to the design. Uh, moving back again, obviously we've got the Gatling guns on the wingtips here. Using tires here to build up that ship profile yet again. And we've also got reactors put in here. So these are like auxiliary reactors, I suppose. Like, those are the main ones in there. And these are auxiliary. Pretty good. You got your wingtips over here, nothing merely on the wings. You've got uh, lights here, red and uh, sorry, green and red. Don't know what they're meant to symbolize. If somebody who knows Star Citizen could tell me, or he's just added them for detail. Atmospheric engines are buried here, pretty good. That's how we can keep up. Gyroscopes there, air vents, pretty good. We got same on the other side. We have indeed. Uh, what else we got? A conveyor down here, so that conveyor I presume links into everything, does it? Yeah, so this conveyor links into everything going through here, pretty good. Inside, is this more conveyors? It is. And hydrogen engines up here with another reactor. So that's a reactor you kind of put with your fuel in, then I suppose it goes through the system. Pretty good. Oh no, it wouldn't, would it? No, it wouldn't. God damn it, Jack. Use your brain. So yeah, you feed that into a reactor. Pretty cool. Uh, what's this over here? Another hydrogen thruster. More LCD panels here. I think these are just for aesthetic detail, not they do anything. I don't know what you'd really display on those panels, to be honest. So I'm thinking aesthetic detail. Moving back, what else do we have? We have sort of going into the bulky section of the engine. We have more thrusters, side thrusters this time. How many side thrusters do we have? We have two in total, isn't it? Two each side. Yep, that is right. And going down or downwards thrust, we have three thrusters compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven upward thrusters. That's not bad, to be honest. It's amazing how lightly armored this fighter is, but I think it can pack a punch. Moving in, what have we got around the back here? We've got, this is back of a, oh no, are we underneath the cockpit? Or is it above us? No, the cockpit's there. So moving back into here, We've got a bottom of the cockpit there, and I think this is the there, this is the oxygen generator. I can generate all the hydrogen. Um, yeah, built into there. More gyroscopes, conveyors, load stuff back here, built in with thrusters. So all that engine there, quite cramped in, hence why I can't really see much. But I'm just going to give you guys a little fly test around. So if we jump in, I'm already in it actually, and flying around, it actually picks up speed pretty well. So there, just under five seconds, we have gone to 100. Pretty cool. Obviously slowing down, takes a bit, it's not bad at slowing down to be honest. So you kind of have to watch speed, you've got to control this one pretty well I'd say. But other than that, it works flawlessly I think. Brilliant dog fighting, fighter I'd say. 
Plus those Gatlins at the front there, they can tear through anything. I prefer having missile launchers on my ships just because I like having extra bit of damage. But sticking next to like a vanilla combat thing, uh, one of these or would really do well to be honest. That turns quite well. I don't know how many gyroscopes do we have. We have only three gyroscopes. Damn, that is good. This is shows you how light this is. Only 28,000 kilograms. Not bad. And we're generating 4 megawatts power. This ship's actually quite cool. I like it. Well done, Perfect Blinky. And I'm not just saying that because I'm friends with him. I generally am critical on builds, but this one I actually love. Brilliant dogfighting fighter, and hopefully I might actually get it in Star Citizen sometime. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a like rating. It definitely motivates me to produce more videos when you like a video. Also, I know you actually liked it as well. It's always a bonus. Definitely check out the Merlin on the Steam Workshop. It is by the amazing Perfect Blinky, the god of vanilla, as he's now nicknamed on the workshop. Amazing build. Check out his other builds as well. He's done lots of Star Wars replicas. I've done videos on him on the channel as well, such as the gunship from the Clone Wars, uh, his TIE Fighters, and he's also done an ATST, a working ATST. Definitely go and check that one out. That is quite interesting. I've been Captain Jack. I hope you're all having a good day, and stay tuned for the next video, which should be tomorrow.